What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin, and today we're going to be reading chapter one of Judy B. Jones is Almost a Flower Girl. Be reading one chapter every day. Come back tomorrow for some more. Let's start with chapter one. Ricardo. My name is Jenny B. Jones. The B stands for beaches, but I don't like beaches. I just like the B, and that's all. I am B. Charlotte. A B. Charlotte is when a boyfriend named Ricardo bumps you at recess, only wasn't expecting the terrible trouble. It is happening on the playground. First, I was playing horses with my friends, Lucio and Grace. Then all of a sudden, my boyfriend... Hold on, i got to show you the picture. All of a sudden, my boyfriend named Ricardo runs right past me. And he was chasing a new girl named Fima. Ricardo, I hollered. Hey, Ricardo. Exactly what you think you doing, mister. Then I zoomed right over after that guy. So if I say a word wrong, I said it right because she says like words super wrong. Like she says runded. And I tackled him on the grass, and we wrestled and tangled and rolled around. Finally, I sat on his legs, and I smoothed my hair very attractive. Hello, Ricardo, I said. How are you today? I'm fine, only. I just thought you are chasing the new... <coughs> Excuse me. The new girl, Thema. So And so please, knock it off, my man. I mean... And I mean it. Ricardo raised his eyebrows, very surprised. Why? How come? He said. I sucked in my cheeks at that guy. Because, Ricardo, because I'm your girlfriend, and you're my boyfriend, and boyfriend's girlfriends aren't allowed to chase each other. That's how come. Ricardo kept on looking at me. I shrugged my shoulders. Sorry, those are just the rules. I explained. Ricardo's face turned very gloomy. But I was chasing the new girl's theme, he said. Kind of whiny. It's fun. And it says, I patted him. I patted his arm very understanding. Yes, well, I don't make the rules, Rick. I said just for enforce them, I said. After that, I got off his legs and I sat in the grass next to him. Ricardo didn't talk for a long time. Finally, I, he stood up and shook my hand real nice. Junie B, it's fun being your dot, 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 but there's no pictures. So if I don't show you, there's no pictures. I like being your boyfriend, he says, but I think it's time we start chasing other people. After that, we waved goodbye, and he ran off to a new chase. Theme again. My eyes got big and wide at him. No, Ricardo, I shouted. No, no, no. Come back, come back. But Ricardo kept running. I felt weakish and sickish inside. I slumped back down on the grass, only too bad for me, because then the bell rang for the for the end of recess. And and all the children started running to the building, but not me. I kept sitting in the grass. My teacher called my name. Her name is Miss. She has another name, too, but I just like Miss, and that's all. Finally, Miss came out to get me. Junie B., honey, she said. Why aren't you coming in? What's the trouble? I looked at her real depressed. Ricardo, Ricardo, I said real sad. Ricardo is the trouble. After that, tears came in my eyes, and my nose started to run very much. Miss closed her eyes. Oh, no, boy problems, she said. Not already. After that, she gave me a tissue. She stood me on my feet, and she walked me to room nine. Okay, so that was only a four-minute chapter, so we're probably going to read chapter two. Chapter two, Grinded. That's what it says. I promise it's not grin, it's Grinded. Mother had the day off from work. She met me at my bus stop. She was pushing my baby brother named Ollie in his carriage. I ran to Mother and hugged her legs. Mother, Mother, I'm so glad to see you, I said, because today is the worstest day of my life. I've been running through the milk to tell you. Mother raised her eyebrows, kind of confused. I think you mean milk, Junie B, she said. 
Run through the mill means you got her. You've had a hard day grinding all day, nodding my head. Yes, mother. Exactly. What kind of day had caused my boyfriend named Ricardo wants to chase other people? And good and that news grinded me right into the ground. I reached in my pocket and I pulled out a snack cookie. Look, see how separate I was, Mother? I'd even eat my snack cookie at snack time because my stomach felt queasy and sickest inside. Mother took my snack cookie out of my hand. She took a big delicious bite of it. Mmm, thank you, honey, she said. I stared and stared at that woman, because she missed the point, apparently. No, mother, you're supposed to eat my snack cookie, you said. You're supposed to feel sorry for me. Plus, you have to tell tell me how to get Ricardo back. Mother bended down and gave me a hug. I'm sorry, honey. I know you're all upset about Ricardo, but really and truly, Junie B., you're way too young to have a boyfriend. She stood back up and smiled. You're a little girl, she said. I stomped my foot. No, I'm not little, I said back. And I, and anyway, all the girls at school have boyfriends, mother. My best friend Lucille has a boyfriend named Clifton. And my other best friend Grace has a boyfriend named Roger. And Charlotte has a boyfriend named Ham. And Rose has a boyfriend named Vincent. And Lainey has a boyfriend named Crybaby William. And now I'm all alone with nobody. Mother did a sigh. I'm so sorry, honey, but all those girls are too young to have boyfriends, she said. Please, Junie Boy, do not start this boy stuff so soon. Little girls are supposed to foot loose and fancy free. I did a frown. What's a loose feet got to do with this problem, I asked. Mother laughed. It's just an expression, Journey B. I, she said, footless and fancy free means you can run and play with anyone you want. She ruffled my hair. Don't you want, don't, you don't want to have to worry about picking out a boyfriend until you're much, much older, she said. I did a huffy breath at her. But I'm already much, much older, I said. And besides, I don't want to lose feet. And the same kind of feet everybody else has. I'm not a baby, you know. I quick run over to Ollie and I held up his teensy hand. See, mother, this baby hand. See how teensy it is? I held his I held my hand right next to his. Now look how now look how bigger my hand is. Do you see how big it is next to Hall? Ollie's, huh, mother, do you? After that, I picked up one of Ollie's baby feet. And see how teensy this foot is? My feet aren't Brazilian. No. No. Brazilian's time bigger than little baby things. I stood up straight and tall. I'm big, I tell you. I'm big like a giant lady, particularly. Mother did a chuckle. Sorry, toots, but I'm afraid you're still too young for a boyfriend, she said. After that, she gave me a big hug. She smoothed my hair, and she she ate the rest of my snack cookie. I'm so sorry. I forgot to show you the picture on the last page. So that is chapter one and two. Come back for tomorrow for three, maybe four. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.